Okay, good morning. It's uh, day four, I think. Is today day four? Yeah, day four. And uh, yeah, just getting up. I just uh, had a quick wash, mostly just my hair and face, try to get my hair under control a bit, you know. Um, yeah, the wind has changed direction, so wish I could tell you what direction it is. I think that's east. I think it's blowing easterly. Um, but it's cold too. Last night was cold. And I don't mind that either, to be honest, because this morning I have a 4,500 meter portage. I have to do it three times because I have two carries. So I'll carry all of my gear over, come back, get the canoe and my food bag, and hike it again. So 7,000 meters, seven kilometers. I would much rather it be cool than boiling hot. So still haven't had coffee or anything like that. So I'm gonna get coffee, I'm gonna get my oatmeal and uh, pack up and get over to the portage as quick as possible really before uh, we get into that midday heat, so. Yeah, it does look quite nice. When I first got up, it was cloudy, but the sun has pushed that cloud away, and uh, I'm sure it'll warm up. Wind's making my nose runny. Oh, gross, sorry. Rubbing that off in front of you. But yeah. No, I need to have coffee. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need to have coffee in the morning. I don't need to, but I think I do need to. Um, brain just slow to start without it. This is uh, my second coffee maker. I used to bring instant camping and it was convenient but a lot of garbage and also uh, they had sweetener uh, packed into it so it was like coffee and sweetener combination probably could have found something else I think Starbucks has just coffee black coffee um, so at the start of the season I found uh, uh, Stanley the brand Stanley had uh, a cup and a drip coffee maker that doesn't need a filter. You don't have to put the paper filter in. So I got that, I thought that was cool. It had this uh, metal type of thing with tiny holes you just throw your coffee in and make your coffee. Worked really good, I used it on the first canoe trip of the season. Um, problem is when I got to the parking lot, I uh, put my food bag down and then uh, proceeded to get in the car and uh, put it in reverse and drive over top of it. So, yeah, discovered it's not that durable. I did really like it. Yeah, it was squished. So I went online and looked. I know other people use these uh, AeroPress. So for the price, it was about the same. I thought I'd give it a try. The way it works is you put your, it's got a little paper filter that goes in the bottom. You put your coffee in, uh, then you pour your hot water in and you press it. Now the instructions say that when you press it, it basically makes an espresso and then you add boiling water. So I just pour hot water to the top, let it, you know, filter through and then I fill it again and let it filter through just like a drip system. And uh, I actually do it, what, four times, I think? And then on the fourth time, I press it. Uh, it's good when you press it because it actually compresses all the coffee to the bottom, and then you just take this thing out and push it the rest of the way, and it coffee falls out like a puck. Yeah, so that's my coffee. Um, the cup I use, this is just a, found it on Amazon, Uko. Um, 
because I drove over the Stanley Cup that I really liked, uh, had to replace that. I found this. It actually compacts the gray pushes up inside of the blue. I never do that, uh, but it's lightweight. It seems to be pretty durable. I haven't tried driving over it yet, uh, but yeah, no problems. Uh, it cleans really good. I was a bit concerned with it staining from the coffee because it's pretty much dedicated coffee cup. Um, no staining or anything, so yeah, I like it. It came in a two pack, uh, so there's one that's blue and gray and one that's like dark gray and gray. Uh, yeah. So my routine is typically I make my coffee and then I use my cup. So this is actually a cup as well from the AeroPress. And then I use this uh, to make my oatmeal in. Um, I have to finish my coffee before I make my oatmeal, but yeah, that's okay. So I basically have a bowl and I have a cup. Um, sometimes I just make my oatmeal in this afterwards, but if I uh, use this, then sometimes there's that little bit of caffeine left in here and caffeinated oatmeal. Almost every day in life, um, but definitely while out camping is my oatmeal. And uh, I just use a, you know, instant packet oatmeal. For me, usually just the like unflavored regular. Uh, I'm trying to reduce the amount of sugars that I have, so that's a uh, that's great. Um, often I just have one packet as well. Sometimes, today I'm having two. I've got a big day ahead of me with all the portage. But, uh, so I'm gonna have two. And I also have uh, some, I think it's maple and brown sugar. So I've, it's one packet of regular and one of maple and brown sugar. It's uh, The maple is left over from my Magneto on trip. When Noah came out, he wanted the maple kind, so I got him that. But uh, yeah, I also add uh, a scoop of protein powder. Uh, so it's just whatever, chocolate, whey protein isolate. So in the end, it comes out to about 30 grams of protein, which is uh, plenty in a meal. And yeah, all the goodness of oatmeal, tons of fiber, keep you healthy. And uh, yeah, the weird thing is though, and if you know the answer, please tell me in the comments, is that I always make the oatmeal quite thick and then I add the protein powder, I mix it up and it becomes more liquid. And I have no idea why, I don't add any more water. I make the oatmeal, it's almost like a paste, like a heavy paste. And I add in the protein powder, the whey protein and it, liquefies somehow so I don't understand how if you add a dry ingredient you get more moisture but it's true try it at home <laughs> or, or don't but uh, yeah if you know why that happens like it's got to be some food chemistry thing no idea but pretty weird but anyway so that's my uh, my pretty much standard uh, breakfast in the morning and uh, gives me my caffeine fix, my, uh, my fiber and any other goodness that's in oatmeal and protein. So yeah, it keeps me going.
Okay, I'm here at the Portage, 2,435 meters from Little Misty to Queer Lake. Let the fun begin. Uphill at the start. Sorry, got me breathing heavy. But the temperature is still pretty good. And the bugs haven't been that bad on this trip. So we'll see how it goes. I expect it to be the, pretty much the same. It's definitely going to be more mosquitoes in the bush than there is on the lake. It's actually pretty good portage so far. Help wanted. Cameraman. Must enjoy spending time in the wilderness, attracting mosquitoes, black flies, deer flies, horse flies, sable flies, ticks. Able to carry 50. Yeah, 50 pounds. We'll pay with all you can eat oatmeal and dark roast coffee. Apply at trailguidepictures.com. You ever have those, uh, I think they're called earworms, songs stuck in your head? <sighs> Don't ask me why, I have no idea. But ever since I got up this morning, I've had a song stuck in my head. It's gotta be the worst. The theme song. To Ghostbusters. Ay, ay, ay. When there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you gonna call?
I see water up ahead. I'm thinking, there's no way that can be Queer Lake. There wasn't any rest stop. And maybe it isn't. Seems like it wasn't that far. I think I'm gonna find out in a minute. As far as portages go, it was easy, relatively level. But it's just the whole endurance, the distance all up. <sighs> Weight on my shoulders is gone. <sighs> so this is Queer Lake. Okay, I'm at the next portage. 175 meters from Queer Lake to Little Trout Lake. It's the last portage of the day. Thank you. 
this is a nice campsite. All right, well, I'm on Little Trout Lake and this is a nice campsite. I think it has everything that I like. I think. I'll have a look around, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased so far. It's nice. Look at the view. Okay, well, time to unload the canoe, get camp set up, have something for lunch, and start drinking plenty of water. Okay, so a family of uh, merganser ducks just came to shore in the spot that I was swimming at just a few minutes ago. So I uh, grabbed my 800 millimeter and threw it on the camera very quietly. And I'm filming it. It's a pretty decent close up. Have a look. Pretty cool. I also think that I feel the rain starting. 